Okay, so here's what happened. Back in 1.5, we used to have a really incredible base. It was equipped with tons of stuff. We had several faction members, and we all worked really hard to make sure we had one of the best, if not the best, base. We had archer towers and defended walls, iron golem spawners, I'll flip that switch and it automatically suffocates them. An intricate item sorting system that filtered out all stackable items, villager trading. A big trophy room that commemorated a lot of our raids. More beacons than we know what to do with, stargates that allowed us to travel all the way around the world. We had hoarded loot. We had uh, buildings that were made just for traps. But then when Mojang came out with 1.6, the server had a lot of reasons to reset the map. So we lost everything and we started anew on a new map. We wanted to start fresh with an even bigger and better base than the one that we had before. But we lost one of our faction members when he went to college, Brian got a new job, I went on a vacation to the Canadian Rockies, and our faction kind of fell apart. But vacation's over, and we're back, and we're going to start a new faction. We're going to create it better than anything we've done before, and we're going to keep it small. Only people we can trust, and this time, we're going to do it right. So just to give you a small indication of the kind of stuff that we lost, here's a clip of my sorting system right after I finished it. We, we did some more work after the this, but here it is. The only thing I have to do is put the items, each item, into its proper sorting position. So that uh, when I put items over there, in that chest way the heck over there, they go all the way around, underneath me, all the way to there. Then they drop down, go to the second level, and go back all the way around. And then anything left will go to those junk chests in the middle. I just wanted to show everybody all this redstone. I made this entirely in SM, uh, in survival mode. <laughs> no flying, no no uh, spawning items. These are all collected legitimately. So that's, this is like the front of it. I'm going to wall up the inside so all that we see are the chests. But behind it, you can see that this is pretty complicated as well. Just really, really big redstone. <laughs> and I know that there's a more compact design, but this is my own design that allows me to eliminate one repeater for every single sorted item, um, which ends up being about 100 repeaters. <laughs> 100 repeaters would definitely add a, <laughs> quite a significant amount of lag to, uh, to this base. And so, <laughs> we are finally done. Hey everybody, this is Running Go Boom, and I'm on Choicecraft Factions for episode one, building a new base. So, what happened was we got a new spawn, nice and pretty, and I also recently just lost my faction through um, some complicated dealings with making a lot of mistakes. But this time I'm going to do it right, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it right too. And we're going to do. I'll show you guys the first step. Oh, yikes. That guy hit hard. Whoa, jeez. Lots of enemies. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, my base is right down here. And the first step is just to make some secure inner walls right after you claim faction. If you don't know how to claim faction land, you can check out my other video. Um, type in, type it into Google and search for it. How to how to claim land, Ronnie Gobu. Um, man, there are so many enemies. What are they all doing here? Let's see if I have any food in these chests. So this is just um, stuff that we tried to salvage from our old base, and we were able to salvage just a little bit of it, but I think it's enough to get started. So what we're going to do today is we're going to finish securing our walls, and one way to do that, oh, here's some cobble, is to check out our claimed land, just to 
to build a nice securing wall all the way around the edge of it. So many enemies. Oh, jeez. Everywhere, everywhere. Okay. So, type slash F space SC to see where your chunks are. Alright, so there's the corner of my chunk, so I'm going to go right over to it. And I'm going to start making, to start, just a too high wall. And what you do is you jump up two blocks like this, you hold shift, and you hold forward, holding right click. Now, I'll have to build one up like that. And you just do this all the way around your claimed land. And eventually, you'll have a nice secure outer wall. And then if you follow the, the tutorials on my other videos, like how to prevent lift-ins, you'll, uh, you'll be able to, to make some really secure walls in general. Oh, more spiders. Enemies everywhere. Surprise, surprise. We really gotta light up this desert. I guess that's another thing I can show you. Just very simply, one of the first things in factions is one, make a secure inner wall. Put a ceiling on it, which we have yet to do. But that's one of the next things. One of my next steps. Oh, it looks more cobble. This will be good for building our wall. And let's let's light up the area. And just to keep all of the zombies away. Dang. You guys are everywhere. Okay, I don't want you guys spawning anywhere near my base. So I'm going to give you a little bit of light right around here. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Dang. Lots of you guys, huh? Okay, let's switch this out. And unarmed. So my, as I talked about in some of my other videos, my MCMMO skill in unarmed is pretty pretty decent, so I'm able to use unarmed to do extra damage to these mobs. If you'd like to learn more about it, I'll show you in my MCMMO video. These guys just keep shooting me and I can't get away. I guess I'm not making enough... oh shoot, I'm stuck in a corner and creeper. That was a close one. Weather zombie, get away. You know what I'll have to do? I'll have to just jump right up. Oh, a skeleton over there. Can't afford to get shot by him. Man, this is just a nasty place to live. Torches, torches, torches. Let's get some torches. That spider. Okay, I'm in here, so the only thing I have to worry about is spiders climbing over the edges. Where are you? Oh, there's one. Any more spiders? Come at me, bro. Come at me. Maybe I can get some, some armor. Let's see here. Here we go. So I just happen to have a little bit of iron. Slash craft. I'm a donor, so I'm able to, to make this little crafting table. And let's make some pants. Cool. That should be good for now. There's a zombie. Zombies. Oh dang. You guys are everywhere. Okay, four. I, I think I'm gonna start building the wall and uh, skip a little ahead a little bit. Here you go. Oh, 
I am really vulnerable right now. Anyone can just show up and kill me. I'm in crap armor and not even enchanted. I guess it's diamond, which is no not nothing, but anyone with a good bow skill could come out and two-shot me, if not one-shot me. And that's why it's so important that I get these outer walls up. And there we have it. The humble beginnings of a secure base. Now eventually I'll replace this cobble with uh, some sort of prettier, less ugly item. And I'll even make a little staircase so that we can get in pretty easily. We can jump into our base. Oh, this, that makes this pretty insecure. So here's what I'll do. Make a nice temporary ceiling. Now this is not a, a completely secure inner room because people can use a new legal technique called horse glitching which is where you basically toss a horse so close to a wall that you suffocate inside it and then you can kind of glitch through to the other side of it um, and that's legal and it's a way to get in so we're gonna eventually have to double wall this but for now that would take a lot of effort on an enemy's part and if they get in I suppose they deserve to so I'm gonna sit here with my stockpiled goods and start to build up a base. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I, uh, I enjoyed making this Let's Play, but I haven't done one before, so if you have any suggestions, should I use more music, should I uh, try to keep it shorter, do you want it longer, let me know what you think I should do uh, for future episodes, and I'd be happy to do it. Please leave a comment and uh, like and subscribe. Thanks so much, see you soon.